and thank you for joining me for another IT Wire and Alex Optech video. Today I have with me Martin Mackay. He's the President and General Manager of CA Technologies in the Asia Pacific and Japan. Welcome to the program. Thanks so much. Delighted to be here. So this is actually my first interview at CA World 17. That was great to be back. I was here a year ago. And so uh, from your perspective, we just saw the keynote recently. We saw pivot points and other things. But what are the major things for you of CA World 17 and how has this matured in the last year that you've been you know with the company since ca world 2016 yeah absolutely so i joined ca just over a year ago and ca world 2016 was my first experience of mm -hmm. uh, of this event and yeah. it's a fantastic event with about four thousand attendees customers partners etc there's a so, burgeoning show floor outside absolutely yeah. you know we have a, a fantastic array of technology and i think we've uh, this year announced uh, 20 new products or enhanced, major enhancements to mm. products. So there's a, there's a huge amount of, of, of new technology and, and new ideas that are being uh, shared with our customers and our partners. Sure, and also a maturation of the uh, digital transformation, all of those sorts of agile management and the, uh, buzzwords and, and Absolutely. Things. So last year, Mike Gregoire, our CEO, introduced the concept that if you're going to be built to last, you have to be built to change. Mm. And that's building on the whole notion that we introduced a couple of years ago around the application economy. Yeah. And the idea of the application economy is that we interact with our customers through software. So the key to success to uh, transform your business uh, from a, a customer-centric perspective is to put software at the heart and really every company is a software company. Yeah. So that was the message last year. And that's evolved this year around a couple of themes. One is the, the concept or the idea of the modern software factory, yeah. which is something we've introduced over the last 12 months, which mm -hmm. is really a, a metaphor for how you can go about putting software at the, the heart of your business. And the second, today Mike talked about the need to combine creativity with execution. Yeah. Uh, and I think there was an incredibly inspiring interview that Mike had with Jimmy Chin, the famous mountaineer and extreme sports um, um, skier, mm. climber, etc. That was just a, a brilliant encapsulation of, of what we have to do as business leaders, which is take risks, but take those risks in a really calculated and planned way. Mm. Use creativity to transform our business, but with a real focus on execution. Yeah. So, you know, I think we're building on this theme of if you're going to be built to last, you need to be built to change, and then showing how that's really reflected in, in the digital transformation program that, that we all have to undertake. And there's also the theme of not being afraid of failure. If you fail, sort of learn from that and then move on and keep going. I, I think that's, uh, that's a really key point, actually. You know, one of the things that you have to admire about North America, the mm. culture here, you know, having been an entrepreneur myself and actually run four early stage companies in the UK, mm -hmm. the attitude to failure in the US is just brilliant, which is learn from it, yeah. come back, yeah. do it again. Yeah. In other markets, and I have to say in my home market in the UK, the yeah. attitude to failure is it's more of a stigma. Yeah. And so, you know, the, the whole power of that, that culture to allow people to be creative, to take risks, mm -hmm. And, but very calculated risks, yeah. you know, it's interesting. We're not mucking around, you're, yeah. you're, you're doing all your homework and research first. Yeah, and the most inspiring thing from, from the talk from Jimmy was talking about his friend climbing the, the vertical wall mm. in Yosemite, 3,000 feet up, overcoming fear through preparation and just a, a, a complete confidence in execution. So it, it's, uh, I think we've got the conference off to a great start. Absolutely. Now you're focusing on the Australia, on the Asia Pacific and Japan region, which I presume includes Australia as well. It does. And so you know how mature you know you've got mature countries like Japan and presumably South Korea and Australia. So how are we all competing with the East Asian countries, these new economic tigers? And uh, you know what what are you seeing? Uh, I mean, one of my other questions, which I guess I'll lead into it, is you know. Who are the biggest users of, of CA Technologies in, in the region and, and what kind of region-wide pivot points uh, have you seen over the past 12 months? Sure, so I mean, one of the things that I, I tend to say quite flippantly to my colleagues mm. is that APJ exists as a label, Asia Pacific and Japan exists as a label mm. within CA Technologies so that my boss only has one person to call <laughs> because it is a, you know, a, an incredibly diverse region. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I have been fortunate personally to work in the region quite extensively yeah. before moving to Singapore a year ago, but I would by no means consider myself to be a, an expert on the different dynamics. Sure. I'm still learning every day. Yeah. But I think it's interesting, you've got the, the mature economies of Japan and Australia, who are certainly in Australia, you know, very forward thinking in terms of adoption of, of digital transformation, mm -hmm. uh, but also having to overcome a challenge that 
that many of the mature economists have, which is you've got a, a massive legacy. Yeah. And you know, the legacy can also can be an advantage in terms of that foundation. Yeah. But is also a, can be something of a sheet anchor. Yeah. In terms of transformation, compared to should we say you know going to the west of the region, India, where almost in the internet era, the, 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 we've moved from sort of legacy or no technology straight to mobile. Yeah. Uh, and then if you go into China, for example, you've got innovation there uh, in terms of some of the mobile apps and some of the businesses that, that frankly make... It's as the I most joked, advanced in the world. I think so. Yeah. It makes, as I joke, it makes some of what we use, you know, look legacy yeah, yeah. <laughs> already. We think, we think our little tap and go pay waves are, you know, Ig exactly. <laughs> advanced, but they're nothing compared to the WeChat and the QQs and the WhatsApps digital payment systems that are just taken off like no tomorrow. Totally, but but I do think there are some consistent themes. Mm. And consistent themes, first of all, is every every company is wrestling with the challenge of how do they transform themselves to put the customer at the heart of the business. Yeah. That is what all successful companies are doing. Without yeah. whom there is no business. Well, exactly, and and we're the same. Yeah. You know, we heard Mike talking today about how we bring customers into our own engineering shops for sort of combined well, development. The developers talk directly to customers and there's a level of transparency that is just yeah, Never absolutely. before seen. And, and certainly not in CA Technologies. You know, that's a transformation that we've undergone over the last three or four years, which makes it really exciting. You almost you, you've got the nirvana of customer-driven development. Um, but I think if you if you look at the, that sort of core challenge, you have got economies working at different pace. Mm -hmm. And you look at, for example, some of the things that are happening in Singapore and the ASEAN countries, incredibly fast moving and with a really strong business environment. Uh, I think actually in Australia there are some companies that are transforming themselves, really exciting way. Um, Japan, Japan tends to be more traditional, but some of the most innovative com uh, companies there are really world beating. You know, for example, we've got a great relationship with uh, ANA, the airline, yeah. and they're undergoing a, a, a digital transformation and our technology is, is widely deployed there. Yeah. Uh, also, we tend to be very strong in banks, mm -hmm. so some of the largest banks in the region, you know, in Australia, uh, the largest banks are our customers, uh, in Singapore as well. Um, and you go to India, State Bank of India, a great customer of ours, they um, have said, you know, they've got 500 million customers, something like that. Yeah, so they, the, the scale is crazy. But they've also said if they don't innovate, they're going to be out of business in the next 10 years. Yeah, somebody else will, will take that half a, half a billion customer base and totally, you know, totally. own so, them. So they so, don't want that to happen. So what they've done is they've put in place a, a transformation program. And, and our technology, again, we're really proud to say is at the core of that. Mm -hmm. uh, they've publicly said they're building the modern software factory with CA at, 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 the, at, the, at the core. And uh, you know, one of the things they've done recently is they ran a, a hackathon in India. And they had this all set up and they realized they had a challenge that with this hackathon of 500 entrepreneurs building software of new technology, FinTech to integrate with, with their core systems, that actually, their security people were saying we really don't want 500 people coming straight into our production system. Yeah, this systems. is live customer data, yeah. live bank accounts. You know, so hello. We, we need to do something. So <laughs> yeah, they, how do we, they, how do we secure they it? turned to us and said, yeah. "What can you do?" And we said, "Well, look, if you take our API technology and combine yeah. it with our service virtualization technology, we created this thing called Hackathon in a Box, which we piloted with them, and they ran this really successful hackathon. We've now taken that to other financial services customers. So, the, the thing I love about Asia are three things. One is that the or Asia Pac, I should say. One is the, the dynamic nature of the, the region. It, it's so diverse uh, and it's so exciting. Uh, the second is, you know, in terms of the population, I think it's, we've got a, a major percentage of the world's youth population mm -hmm. and that just drives innovation and makes all of us with sort of grey hair and receding hairlines really, you know, able to learn from people who are, you know, have different perspectives. You well, know. They embrace and expect the change that the older generation might be hesitant to uh, totally. embrace. Yeah. And you know, we are sort of my generation, dare I say yours, yeah. Alex, you know, we are uh, digital immigrants, not digital natives, yeah. and we have to learn from the digital natives. Mm. Uh, and then the third thing is, it, I think the the market overall is so open to new ideas. You know, it's fascinating to talk to Japanese customers who are traveling to Europe and to the US yeah. to understand what's going on there, how can we learn? You know, yeah. fascinating talking to um, uh, the uh, customers in Singapore and ASEAN about doing the same thing. Indian customers, you know, g going over to Europe to learn, coming back and saying, okay, well, they've done some interesting things, but you know, we can, we can do this better. Yeah. Um, and I think that entrepreneurial spirit is just, is just brilliant, combined with, of course, a work ethic yeah. that just, you know, usually 
dare I say it, you know, puts a lot of pressure on uh, the you rest know of the, world? The, the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah you know, particularly where I come from, Europe. Yeah. You know? yeah. So look, we're getting we're running short on time because you've got other interviews to go to. But you know, how do you think this thing will evolve over the next decade? It's, it's so much change. I mean, it, it, uh, it perhaps it's almost impossible to predict how much change there will be. Uh, uh, yeah, the pace of change is is, is is phenomenal in the technology industry. I think we've got to look at a couple of things. We've got to look at artificial intelligence yes. and, and robotics for sure. Uh, we've got to look at the Internet of Things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we've got to uh, you know clearly look at the integration of big data and the use of big data and analytics to make better decisions, etc. Um, I, I think there are a couple of things to say. That, that raises some serious moral dilemmas. And as ever, I think technology is ahead of both uh, legal thinking and moral thinking. Mm. You know, what's going to happen to all of the jobs that are automated? Yeah. Uh, that's the first thing. We, we can't all be the guys repairing the robots, right? No, right, <laughs> right, exactly. You know, they'll be repairing themselves. Yeah, well, well yeah, almost certainly. You know, and, and you know, how close are we to Skynet? Yeah, you know? that's right. I, yeah. and, and you know, I think there are some really interesting questions about you know the role that social media plays and the role that some of the very large global technology companies play. Um, that said, I. You know, I was presenting at the University of Reading in Malaysia uh, last week to a group of students. Yeah. About 150 students, I was there at their careers fair, talking to them about why have a career in technology. Yeah. And it's very clear, the reason is because it's the most dynamic, exciting industry. Yeah. And you know, we're working with customers to help them transform. I, I feel very privileged in my job because I get to talk to customers across the region, learn a huge amount from them, and then come back and say to my team, okay, how can we shape our technology so we can go and you know, help them anticipate their problems? So it's a, it's, you know, I think CA World just epitomizes what, what is great about the technology industry, and dare I say it, great about CA in yeah. terms of our you know, customer centricity and trying to, trying to stay ahead of the market. So look, second last question is always, what's the best piece of advice that you've received in life to help you get where you are today? So I think, you know, it's a great question. The, 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 the one that really resonates with me, and I shared this with the students, mm -hmm. um, which uh, is, you know, a long time ago, someone said to me, take your job seriously, but not yourself. Uh, and I think if you can do that, so, you know, take my responsibility to my APJ team and APJ customers and to CA incredibly seriously. But if I can have the self-awareness to laugh at myself and to be willing to learn, I, I don't always achieve that, let sure, me tell sure. you. It's, it's, you know, it, it's challenging sometimes, but I, that has always resonated with me as something I, I aspire to do, which is to be very serious about my job, but not so serious about myself. It's a little bit like um, that me mentality of failing fast and not being afraid of the failure and, and actually using that to propel yourself onto that success, as uh, opposed to have, being defeated by it. I, I, that's always been something I think that you know I, I've always I've taken to heart, which yeah. is I, I will never shy away from a challenge. So I have quite a high propensity for risk, although I must admit I have nothing but admiration for our CEO, Mike Gregoire, who just showed a picture of his climbing, climbing a, up a, a 500 foot <laughs> mountain. Yeah, and, that's a vertical wall. Yeah, yeah vertical, vertical wall, wall. and you know, kudos to Mike. Yeah. Um, Frankly, if I was you know, ever CEO of CA Technologies, I'd rather be in the nets facing Brett Lee. That would be my challenge. Uh, you know, well, cricket, for those cricket, wondering. Cr yeah. That's cricket, yeah, for those wondering. So, so cricket very is Very English and Australian. Yeah, very, yeah, the yeah. Cricket, cricket is, that, that would be my, my sort of equivalent of climb, climbing a wall. Yeah. I'm not great with heights, frankly. Yeah. So, so what would your final message be to ITY viewers and readers and to all of your customers, current and future, in the region? So I think probably three things. You know, one is, Embracing digital transformation and embracing technology is only part of the challenge, yeah. right? Actually, the, the whole digital transformation is all about a different mindset, putting the customer first, and it's as much about the culture as anything else. Mm -hmm. The second is, I, I think there's always a danger, and, and we suffer from this as well, so mm -hmm. yeah, technologies, you, you become too introspective. The mm -hmm. more you can look outside and learn from different industries, uh, the, the, the better. Uh, and then the third is uh, just the looking at technology as, as a catalyst for change, really. And I think that's probably how ultimately I'd, I'd sum up what we do, which is we enable our customers to transform themselves. So, you know, appreciated the chance to talk to you, Alex. Thank Martin, you very much. Thank you. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank I look you. forward to it. Thanks.